Hi, I'm Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and I have a fun project for you today. I want you to take a look at this quilt behind me. Is this not the cutest thing? So I have this great daughter-in-law, Misty, and her grandma, when she was a little girl, her grandma made her this awesome quilt. And it was just like this, where the daisies were one color on one side and matched on the, I mean, it was just so cute. And I've wanted to do one for ever so long. And now we have the cool orange peel template that's tiny. And I thought, oh, we could do that quilt with this little template. So let me show you how to do that. So to make this quilt, what you're gonna need is one packet of 10 inch squares. And this one is called Pinging of You, and it's by Wilmington. And it's just, I mean, it's just all these fun shades of pinks. And um, also you're gonna need one packet of 10 inch solid squares at all. That's gonna be your background square. You're gonna need a yard and a half of um, like heat and bond light, something with an adhesive on it, and just a yard and a half of that. And you're gonna need a yard for your border. We've got a four inch border around this. And this is just so much fun to make. It's one of those quilts that's really gratifying really fast. So let me show you how to do that. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a 10 inch square and a print and a 10 inch square of solid, and I'm gonna layer them right here. I'm just gonna lay them right on top of each other and line them up and line them up here on my mat. And then I'm just gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna lay it right along the edge because this is a five inch ruler. And I will just be able to sail down this and cut them right in half right here. So that's all you're cutting right there. One of these sides you're gonna set aside because that's the side that we're gonna make our petals out of. But this one we need to sew back together to make the block. So we're gonna take these two pieces and sew them back together. We're gonna to sew a quarter of an inch right down this side and then press it open. So let's go to the sewing machine and sew a quarter of an inch. And and we're just gonna sew a quarter of an inch right down the side. Make sure they stay lined up. Mine just scooted a little bit in the, in the uh, whatever was going on. They just scooted a little bit, so I had to straighten them back up. There we go. Now we are gonna come over here to the iron and we're gonna set our seam right here. And then we're gonna roll this back. All right, now this is our block. This is the foundation of our block. This is, you're gonna do this to your whole pack and you're gonna make the, the whole thing and this is our block. So now we have to cut out our petals and to do that, we are going to need to iron these onto a piece of heat and bond. And because we only need three petals for each side, we, uh, you're probably only gonna need half of this. So I'm gonna cut this in half right here just cut a five inch square out of here. That'll give me a whole, char left, whole charm left to do uh, something else with it. All right, so I'm going to cut these in half like this. And then I'm gonna set these aside for another project and we need to iron our squares onto heat and bond right here. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to, oh, I'm probably gonna live a little dangerously here. I'm gonna set my squares on my heat and bond. You can actually cut them out yourself into little five inch squares if you want. I'm just gonna be really careful and slide along this heat and bond like this without getting any of the sticky stuff on my iron. Like that. All right. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this off, right this. And then I'm gonna trace my petals on here. All right, so to trace my petals, I've used our little um, mini peel. You know, we have the orange peel and we did the orange peel quilts and we did the giant orange peel quilts and now we have this little mini peel. And we have the mini peel here and I'm just gonna trace around this mini peel like this. And you need three of each for each side for color. So I'm just gonna trace three on here. And then come over here and trace three more. Just like that. And then we're just gonna cut them out. And I actually like to scissor cut them. I, I think I'm faster with a scissor. You know, um, 
A lot of people will rotary cut these and that's fine. Do it whatever's most comfortable for you. I think I'm kind of faster with a scissor. One of the things I could have done if I had been thinking is I could have folded this over a couple of times and just traced one and cut them all out at once. But uh, I didn't think about that until just this very moment. <laughs> All right, so now I've got all my petals come out and we get to put them on our square. So I'm going to peel the adhesive off on here. And you can just kind of roll it back to loosen up that back piece right there. Oops, I have a little fluff or something under here. With white fabric, you want to be careful about what you've got showing up. And I almost put that on the white side. You want the white on the color and the color on the white. So make sure you get that right or you won't see your flowers. It'll be terrible. All right. And I, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to set all these on here and iron them all at once. One more white petal. And I'm just randomly... You know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not measuring or anything. I'm just kind of randomly placing them together. I want them to look flower, like a flower. And uh, like that. And one more. There we go. Now let's head over to the ironing board ever so carefully. And we're going to press these so that they stick on. Make sure they're lined up just where you want them. There we go. Then I'm just going to set my iron on there. And I don't scoot the iron. I'm just like moving it from set of petals to set of petals so that they'll, we want them just to adhese on there because we are going to stitch them down now on the machine. So on this machine, the stitch I chose was 29 and it's a little uh, blanket stitch and it has a little cue by it so that you know it's a good stitch for quilters. Um, and that's on the Baby Lock Catherine. Love this little Catherine. And then what we're going to do is we are just going to sew around the edge of these, blanket stitching them down. This is the easiest form of applique. You just iron on and then stitch around it. And you can, um, your straight stitch part goes right along the edge. And then your blanket stitch goes right, just comes over and takes a bite. And I will do one over here on the pink side. It'll be easier for you to see. Now, I actually kind of want to tell you a story about this a little bit. Um, my little granddaughter wanted to make a quilt. And she decided she was going to make elephants. And I had her trace them out of a coloring book and trace the heat and bond, trace it on the heat and bond and then put the, cut out the elephant and uh, iron it onto a block and then stitch around it with a blanket stitch. Well, she wasn't very good with a sewing machine at, at that point. She wasn't quite where she needed to be. And sometimes her blanket stitch didn't meet up with the line. Often, actually, it did meet up with the line. And, um, and so instead of having her take that out, I just told her to go back and do it again. Go back and do it again. And some of those elephants seriously had three or four rows of blanket stitch. And you know what? Nobody notices. Nobody notices. It's a sweet little quilt with elephants on it. So don't die over having to be perfect. You're going to do six petals on each block. And by the time you get to the last block, you're going to be pretty, pretty good. So don't die over it. On the blocks that you don't like as well, don't put them in the middle of your quilt. You don't want to have to look at them all the time. But if I go off the edge a little bit or something like that, I don't worry about it too much. I don't stop. They do have, on my machine too, it does have a slow down button. So if you feel like uh, you want to go a little slower, you can always adjust that and slow down. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish these up and I'll meet you right back here. So that didn't take too long, did it? And now you have this darling little block with these little blossoms on it. You're gonna do that to your whole pack. You're gonna cut the whole thing in half. You're gonna sew two of the squares together. On the other ones, you're gonna put heat and bond on the back, 
trace on your little peels. Your, use your little mini peel to trace on your petals and you're going to make petals for your block and you're going to do this to each one. So let's look at how this quilt is constructed. We've got six blocks across the top, seven blocks down. Now I want you to remember something. Because we've taken a half an inch seam in here, this block is now 10 by nine and a half. So we can't actually rotate them. You know, it, does, it, it no longer fits as a block. Well, you could if you cut a half an inch off, but right now we're just doing this this way. So two blocks together and we're doing this. So one of the things about making these quilts, especially when you make quilts for grandchildren, um, Misty's grandma made this for her when she was a little girl. And not too long after that, they lost her to cancer. And um, this is a memory for Misty that has stayed with her and that she has loved her whole life. And having this blanket has been something that's been really special for her. So I hope when you go to make a quilt for somebody in your life that um, you'll know how special it is to them. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the pedal quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. <laughs>